Every other year in Europe, and when the clocks go back and the evenings get darker, the offshore world gears up for one of the biggest short-handed races in the world, the Transact Jacques Vabre. The race started on the 7th of November from Le Havre and finishes in Martinique, with a variety of courses for the four classes. The L teams go the furthest, with a big dip south they clock up 7,500 miles. The Ocean 50s and the Mocha 60s do 5,800 miles, and the Class 40s notch up 4,600 miles. It's a classic double-handed race that starts in the dark and cold and finishes in the warm sunshine of the Caribbean, hopefully. So if you miss what's happened over the last five days, Alec Wilkinson gets you up to speed. The boats were moored in the dock for 10 days. 10 days waiting for the open sea, waiting for this. A moment for goodbyes. In the car I was in my own bubble. The bubbles burst now and I'm going to have to refocus. A complex mix of emotions. We're on fire, we're in the flow of the Jacques Vabre. We've worked for months, for years to be here, to live these moments. It's an important emotional moment. Seventy-nine double-handed boats on the same line, a record in the history of the Transat Jacques Vabre. Four classes, four boat sizes, four very different speeds. At the start, there are many people, not only competitors. That's where you have the most risk of collision, in the hours before and after the start. In other words, better get ahead. Frank Camas and Charles Codrelier were the first to the Etretat mark. At the same point, Leclerc and Escoffier politely kept their distance from Gabar and La Perche. And behind the Ultims, the Ocean 50s, multi-hulls, half the size, put on a show. And then, the Imokas. I think it's going to take longer than we thought it would. There'll be no change out of 18 days now. So, between two and three weeks of racing coming up. Impossible to say who'll arrive first in Martinique, the new finish line of the Transat Jacques Vabre. The first night is over. Unfortunately, we lost Bureau Valet. I'm sorry for you guys. It's the first retirement of this Transat Jacques Vabre. In the middle of the night, Bureau Valet dismasted the end of the race for Louis Burton and Dabi Baudin. We finally arrived on land. We'll work out what happened. The adventure continues with sportsmen and women. We know how to bounce back. We're going to repair and come back stronger. Thank you for your support. It's not all been bad news on the race course. Here's some of the best action. We're off on the Transat Jacques Vabre. There are people everywhere. We're off. Direction Cherbourg. There are the lights of Cherbourg. Anto is racking his brains to find out where to go. After less than 20 hours of racing, we're already in the doldrums and we don't know when we'll get out of it. We've just come out of the doldrums, or better, a windless zone with a head on current. What a great first night. Not a breath, not a puff of breeze. A zephyr, a feminine word used by French sailors and good for drying the feet. It's like being on a lake in Switzerland. In the exhausting game of slow motion sailing, the prize goes to those who find the wind first. There at last we'll head south and hopefully find wind. Staying positive, even after 36 hours spent looking for breeze. 
Can you see anyone? An ocean 50. That's not a good sign. Who do we see here? Team GCA, right next to us. We don't know what time it is, if to be awake or asleep. Either way, we're skimming the rocks. Today's menu is a small onigiri of rice, red plum leaves and seaweed. Mr. Mion, being from Normandy, I can only say yes. Being accompanied by a lot of dolphins. We're on Corum in the Bay of Odierne. Navigiamo al traverso della Bay of Odierne. Attention, on arrive! 11th hour racing team's Imoka Alakai is out of the Transat Jacques Vabre. Britain's Simon Fisher and Justine Metro of Switzerland alerted race management this afternoon that their Imoka had dismasted just north of Cape Finisterre off the Spanish coast. Both sailors are safe and uninjured. Jussier and Loison remain at the head of the class 40s. Apivia is dominating the Imoka fleet. In the Ocean 50, Coesio is still one step ahead of the chasing pack. And there's a change of leader in the all teams with Maxi, Edmund Rothschild pulling away. The crew of Sedebo 3 will stop in Madeira overnight to effect repairs on their starboard foil after it was damaged in a collision with a UFO, an unidentified floating object. Coville and Ruxel will meet up with their technical team and hope to return racing. They had been lying second in the all team class. For some of the Class 40 boats, the weather's getting warmer as the leaders sail south along the Spanish coast. But for those further back, it continues to be a struggle to find breeze, sometimes even using the anchor to avoid going backwards or making vital adjustments to the mainsail. Julia Vira guide de haute montagne et monté en haut du mât. It's all about staying positive and fighting to win each mile and get around the traps of Cape Finisterre. J'espère que ça va aller un petit peu plus vite. Bon ça va Jean Ça va, ça va. Pas sûr quoi.